All right, a group of friends went out for a night on the town until things got out of hand. A little hairy, unexpected guest showed up at a local bar, so we sent Action News Jack's Ben Becker to investigate in what can be described as Sen Ben meets the original restaurant report. Elizabeth Willis and her friends were all smiles as they went out on St. Patrick's Day in St. Augustine. For them, it was the first time they'd been to St. Augustine, so I wanted to show them uh, a staple of St. Augustine, which is the Teeny Martini. And here is the Teeny Martini bar at the Casablanca Inn, where they decided to enjoy a few drinks. But Willis says they encountered a little unexpected guest, and it wasn't a leprechaun. We take our first sips, and then all of a sudden somebody saw something moving towards us. And we're like, what? What is that? And we looked and like, oh my goodness, it's a rat. That's right, a rat. And it wasn't searching for a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Video from one of Willis's friends shows the rat jumping down off a window to a table lamp, then it scurries off along a wall onto the floor, leaving everyone shaken and stirred. The people you're with were terrified, traumatized by it. Yes, good word, terrified and traumatized. So clearly they, they must have made some sort of accommodation for you? No, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. They didn't offer you free drinks? Nope, nothing. Free round? No. Nope. Not only that, but Willis says the staff didn't take it seriously. When I was waiting for the check to pay, one of the staff members comes up and tries to scare me from behind and they all start laughing. I mean, they came to look just to make fun of us. This is Ben Becker with Action News Jacks. I called Teeny Martini about it's not so teeny problem and was told a manager was too busy to talk. So I walked in. See that rat? Yeah, I'll rewind it for you. I showed a worker the video who didn't feel ratted out. It's the first time you ever seen a rat downtown. <laughs> so that's okay, a rat was in your restaurant? No, I'm not saying nothing, it was okay. <laughs> So I reached out to the owner who said she was out of town and unaware of the situation. She sent me a statement that reads in part, Of course we will reimburse the customers and do anything else to make them happy. I guess we had too much confidence in the staff. We will make sure that everyone knows the customer's concern comes first. As for Willis, What made you guys reach out to me? Really just to make sure people are aware of um, unsanitary conditions at a place where you might sit and have a drink and eat. I mean, that's not right to have rodents running around. <laughs> now, I made state inspectors aware of the situation at the Teeny Martini. They conducted a surprise inspection after I was there and told me, quote, vermin activity was observed and it was placed on a warning with a follow-up inspection required. For local coverage you can count on, Ben Becker, Action News Checks.